aboard the USS William C. Ralston on a supply mission to Iwo Jima. She's loaded down with vital replacements for the men who are holding Strategic Island in the Volcano Group. The beaches hum with activity as CBs unload the Ralston's cargo onto LCTs. The landing of supplies on EO presented the Navy's beachmasters with one of their toughest problems of the Pacific campaigns. In addition to having no harbor, EO's beaches are surfaced with soft ash deposited by the Suribachi volcano on the southern tip of the island. As the rolling stock is disgorged, one of the new bulldozers goes into action and tries to smooth the way for mobile units which will follow. But many vehicles get bogged down immediately on hitting the beach. The only way to get them out is to hitch onto one of the dozers. Meanwhile, supplies are moved inshore for unpacking and distribution to the EO garrison. Construction work continues on the island, which is rapidly transformed into an advanced American base, halfway between Saipan and Tokyo. Gun revetments are in place as part of EO's defensive ring. Although organized Jap resistance ended in mid-March, the mopping up operations go into April with reports of occasional contact with small enemy groups. Air defense of the island is under Brigadier General Ernest Moore. Preparing Motoyama Airfield No. 2 for emergency landings of super forts returning from raids on Japan. Airfield No. 1 became operational for U.S. planes only seven days after D-Day, 19th February. EO-based P-51s taking off to escort Saipan-based B-29s on a Tokyo mission. Near Japan's coast, enemy planes surprised at our fighter escort attack without plan. dropped 2,000 pound general purpose bombs. Five hundred twenty tons are dropped on industrial targets and results are reported as excellent. EO from the air as the Mustangs return from the seven hour mission. Trouble causes 50 of the super forts also to land on EO and here one of them is being escorted into the base. Had EO not been in our hands, many of the super forts would have been ditched before reaching Saipan. Flak damaged a number of the big planes, but caused no serious crew injuries. A super fort receives a new engine. Gassing up a repaired plane in preparation for a takeoff. <laughs> The super forts return to Saipan. A captured Jap field gun, one of many pieces of ordnance equipment which have been taken by our troops in the Pacific fighting. The powder charge is in small flakes. Ammunition is prepared for test firing of the weapon. While exact specifications of this model are not yet available, it's in many respects similar to the Jap 75 mm field gun, model 95. In this type of gun, the traversing and elevating hand wheels are located on the left side of the carriage. Jap weapons taken in good working condition or repaired by us are used against the enemy. A captured Japanese 20 millimeter anti-tank rifle. The breech assembly is inserted in the gun, which is a single purpose, gas operated, magazine fed automatic weapon. It weighs only 150 pounds, complete with shield. 
The weapon's armor-piercing ammunition will go through one half-inch face-hardened armor plate at 200 yards. The gun has a muzzle brake. Assembling the Jap 320 millimeter spigot motor or buzz bomb, the propellant charge screws onto the fin tailpiece. When fully assembled, the mortar weighs approximately 700 pounds. The warhead, in turn, screws onto the propellant charge. The firing tube is lifted onto the base plate and locked. The firing charge is contained in a canister which is placed on top of the firing tube. The firing charge is in various sized silk bags. The number and size of the bags used for propellant determines the distance the shell is to be fired. Troops of the 27th Division Bomb Disposal Unit detonate and destroy a spigot mortar shell found in a field on Okinawa Island. As the fuse had been previously removed from the shell, a grenade is put on the nose and then the lengthy fuse is lit. The shell can devastate an area of 300 yards. Accounts of the mortar in use describe the shell as floating slowly through the air, looking like a flying boxcar. The mortar is very inaccurate. A truck unloads a captured Jap naval 45 centimeter rocket bomb onto a rocket rack. The crude wooden rail launching device and the general inaccuracy of the rocket indicate that it's intended primarily for area bombardment. The rocket body consists of the motor, explosive case, and nose cone, the three sections being welded together. The combustion chamber contains 40 sticks of monoperforated propelling powder. Range of the rocket is estimated at approximately 1,900 yards. A group of 20 centimeter army rockets, considered to be the most important type of rocket and launcher now used by the Japanese. This rocket and launcher has been designed to provide a lightweight weapon which will fire a heavy projectile as accurately as possible. Tests show an approximate range of 2,600 to 2,800 yards. <laughs> 